Hello. So in this video, I added a whole ton of 3D fractals into Minecraft, and they look awesome. So before I even explain anything, I'm just going to show you a whole compilation of the 3D fractals I added. So enjoy. So those were all the normal 3D fractals that I added, but I added a few special ones which are even cooler. So if you look behind me right now, or anywhere around me, this is the 3D Julia set. So you can take any corn in it from the Mandelbrot, like I'm here. There is a command called fractals at seed, and it, this works the same way as it does in the 2D Julia set. So. We just take some corn nuts real quick and reset it. Here is a Julia set for wherever I just was. Kind of weird, but it's a Julia set, so yeah. And lastly, my favorite one, I added the Mandel box. This is kind of like the Julia set. It's very customizable, but it's actually made for three dimensions. So this uses the same seed command. You only have to worry about the first corn on it though. It'll tell you when you, you're using it. But this is at negative one right now. And I mean, it's kind of awesome. So if we switch this up, let's put it at negative 1.1. You will see it transforms into another Mandel box. And this one is different. It's cool. And it's symmetrical on all of the sides. So it's really awesome. This is probably my favorite one to just mess around with. Um, the closer to negative 2 it gets, the smaller it gets. So this should be a bit smaller. A bit more rounded corner, as you can see. And the inside is always changing when it does this. If we go all the way to negative 2, 
or like close enough at least, you will see that it pretty much just becomes a sphere. Although a very weird sphere at that. This does not look like it was meant to be a sphere, but it somehow is. Especially on the inside, you can see the square, but also the sphere. And the further away you get, the closer to zero you get, the bigger it gets. So, let's just do 0.9. And yeah, there you go. Much bigger cube now. And this works with any value between zero and negative two. So it's a lot of fun to mess around with. And if we make it way closer to zero, let's do negative 0.55, then you should be able to see that it expands a lot. Yeah, look at that. It's much bigger now, but also has a lot more holes in it. I mean, just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's so fun to mess around with. Here, one more. And the closer we get, once it gets too big, it starts becoming... It's, it just starts disintegrating, kind of. So, like, this is a lot less solid once it loads. Yeah. It's, it's awesome, but a lot less solid of a cube. And yeah, if we continue, now it's at 0.15. It's pretty much just a whole bunch of debris floating in space. For the mantle cube in particular, it becomes a lot more detailed once you make it bigger. So I find that pretty cool. I love it. I mean, like, really, it makes some really weird shapes in here. At this point, I might as well make this another dimension or something. Oh my god, this could be one of the best parkour maps. Like, start here and reach the surface. That would be a fun challenge. I'm not doing that, for now at least. So yeah, that's all the cool fractals I added, but I also added a few other changes. So, uh, I'd say probably the biggest change I made was that 3D fractals finally work with the height map. And this took surprisingly long to make, but here's what that looks like. So it will take the world, and it will transform it to be part of the Mandel cube. So this was kind of a boring cube setting, and also kind of a boring terrain, but it took the world, and it transformed it to be the fractal. It's easier to see from the inside, I guess. But yeah, now this works with any 3D fractal. This next thing I added was suggested by Michael Henderson. He asked if I could make a color glass color palette. So here's what that looks like. And this was a great idea. It looks amazing. Um, I love it. It's really awesome how it's like kind of transparent, but kind of not at the same time. Look at that. And if we just use a 2D fractal, this is kind of cool. You get like a fog effect to the bedrock. It looks nice. This would probably be better outside of super flat. Next up on the list of things I've added is a way to find stuff at larger scales easier. So let's say you have a spot that you really like. Let's just say, I don't know right here for whatever reason, but you want this to be much bigger of a scale. So you can type to find TP to scale, and you can set the scale to whatever you want. So let's just go with, I don't know, that, one million. And now I'll be here. So if I set the scale to one million, and reset it, I am directly at the border of where that just was. Um, maybe I set it to be a little too big. Um, let's try this again. Let's set, let's set it to a thousand this time. Yeah, 
There we go. That's more like it. As you can see, I was I was just in the wall where I was. Um, well, and just as usual, this is still fun to explore. And lastly, I added a setting to invert the world height for 2D fractals. So instead of creating tall mountains, this would create nice valleys that kind of gradually go into the void. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you want to use this mod, it's free, and it'll be on my mod rooms page. So yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.